Thank you, Sam, and uh, Ms. Monsignor Sarando for having me here. If I could just get the clicker for the presentation, if anyone has it right now. Well, while we wait for that as well, I want to thank James and Nikhil for uh, their excellent remarks so far in setting the stage for this topic, as well as our wonderful translators in the control room. Uh, they told me I gave them a very hard time last year, so I promise to speak just a little bit slower this year and make sure that they're not rushing to keep up with the words. Thank you. If we can just get the slides up, please. Thanks. Great, lovely, thank you. So I'm glad to be back here again this year to share about the SDG Students Program. Last year, the symposium was the first time that we publicly talked about the Students Program, which is the youngest of SDSNU's four uh, global programs. Um, and it's founded on two truths that everybody already knows here, that the world is facing some of the most difficult challenges it has ever encountered, and that young people must play an active role in dealing with these challenges if we are to stand a fighting chance in combating them. And a big question that we had was, how do we bridge this gap between young people and their ability to solve some of the world's biggest challenges. Already this year, we've seen many young leaders discuss their wish for a status quo to change in the world today, in our ability to deal with sustainable development. But equally, we see even more young people around the world who may not have even heard of the sustainable development goals, may not even know how to start working on these global challenges. So how do we bridge this gap? Well, we believe, as Nikhil mentioned, that universities are centers for learning, with their ability to drive cutting-edge research, their roles as the nexus within which myriad stakeholders in a community come together to discuss global challenges. And in the nurturing of students, we believe universities have the biggest potential to bridge this gap between young people and their ability to deal with global challenges and act on them today. So the question that we wanted to tackle in dealing with this program was, how do we transform universities into centers and hubs of learning and engagement within which we can allow students to deal with some of the biggest issues we're facing in the world? Some of the largest companies in the world today that are changing the way we live were started by students on universities. So clearly, universities are doing something right in giving students the tools and the exposure to be able to deal with big challenges. And that's why we started the SDG Students Program. The SDG Students Program is a global network of SDG student hubs. And the notion of this is, how do we create an international network of spaces on universities where students with no prior experience or engagement with the SDGs can come together to learn about, engage with, and take action on the SDGs? The hubs themselves are what we call semi-physical, semi-virtual communities. Physical in their ability to bring students from all backgrounds together on campus, and virtual in their existence on our platform Workplace by Facebook, where all of our SDG hub members, the students who are part of the program, engage with one another online. And the notion that we wanted to really put in place here and our theory of change is a simple three-step process. How do we make sure that the average university student is able to learn about what the SDGs are and have that foundational knowledge with them, are able to engage with the SDGs and have the skills they need to act on them today, and have the pathways to be able to act on implementing the SDGs in their local communities? So far, we've launched a program in February of this year. So we are the youngest of SDSNU's programs in 21 countries. So from Rwanda to South Korea to Turkey, from India to Nepal to Australia, we have SDG coordinators, our campus representatives, building these communities on universities around the world. Thus far this year, our SDG student hubs have seen panel dialogues and workshops, community outreach events and environmental cleanups, and we've brought in 590 university students to these communities, and we're very happy to see all of the students who've been a part of this program so far. Which raised the next question for us, which is, once we build these communities, how do we encourage students to be able to commit the time they need to be able to actively understand the SDGs and act on them. So today, with Monica here from the Ban Ki-moon Center for Global Citizens, uh, one of our uh, best partners, we're excited to announce the SDG Students Program Certificate, an additional incentive for students to be able to commit the time they need to be able to gain foundational sustainability literacy and act on them in their local communities. With the SDG Academy and the Ban Ki-moon Center, we jointly developed this certificate to be completed over the course of an academic year over nine criteria, including the completion of sustainable development in the 21st century of Ban Ki-moon, an online course developed by the Ban Ki-moon Center in Yonsei University, as well as volunteering uh, with a local registered nonprofit for 17 hours. These nine criteria aim to ensure that students actively engage with the program and come out of it with the skills and understanding they need to be advocates for sustainability in the future. The certificate is signed by Co-Chair Ban from the center, as well as Sam on behalf of SDS and Youth, and Chandrika on behalf of the SDG Academy. We're very grateful for the support of our partners at the Ban Ki-moon Center for their commitment to working with us to promote sustainability in universities, as well as the continued commitment from SDSN youth to be able to bring this program into SDSN's 800 plus universities. 
So mark this occasion today, we've actually invited two of our wonderful SDG coordinators who are sitting in the front row here. If I could just invite you to please stand up, not to put you on the spot. We have Ajit from Kathmandu University in Nepal and Sasha from uh, Monash University in Australia. And to mark this occasion, we wanted them to be the first recipients of our SDG Students Program Certificate. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Ajit, Sasha, this is a testament to the wonderful work that you've done in your universities, and we hope you'll continue to develop community on your universities back home. Thank you very much. Before we close, I wanted to maybe bring the discussion back to our theme of intergenerational leadership for the Sustainable Development Goals. And if we can get the last few slides up, that would be great. We wanted to also bring this program to all of you because in our first year of running this program, we know that there are many ways that we need to improve. And there are three ways that we wanted to invite you all to be a part of this journey with us. The first is if you have excellent content that we can bring into universities to students that will help them in their understanding of the SDGs, please reach out to us. The second is if you have experts or mentors in the field who can talk about specific issues, come and talk to us. And we want to bring you in in our online platforms to be able to connect with university students. And finally, if you have pathways, for example, our friends from Unleash and Ilya here as well, we nominated some of our university students to attend Unleash this year. And we're looking for more ways we can push university students outside of the comfort zone of their campuses. The SDG Students Program is an intergenerational effort because Nurturing the next generation of students is not something that young people can do alone. And we count on the expertise of uh, individuals, of organizations who've been in this space who can help us to really bring this forward. At the end of the day with the program, our long-term mission is not to create the next generation of sustainability experts. I know that's a controversial statement, but the world does not need everybody to be able to explain every component of the Sustainable Development Goals perfectly. What the world needs is a generation of university students who will go out into their various industries and occupations with a foundational knowledge of what sustainability is, the skills they need to bring this into their personal lives and their professional lives, and the drive to action these in whatever they pursue. And with this next generation of students who will enter the workforce, who will go into various roles, we believe that we can transform the future trajectory of the world one step at a time. Thank you very much.